Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a, a fairly rare and interesting case. Had a gentleman who came in um, a couple of days ago with uh, severe pain in his eye and it turns out that he had had surgery a few months ago or I think two or three months ago for cataract surgery and I guess the, the surgeon had difficulty with the surgery and actually had to put a different type of implant than we usually put in. So there are two basic types of implants. That is an implant that goes behind the pupil where your own lens is located and held in place by this capsule. So we cut an opening in front of the capsule and then remove the cloudy lens material and then the implant goes inside and right where your own lens is sitting pr prior but I guess there were problems and difficulties with this capsule and the ligaments holding in place that they were damaged or broke apart and so the, this lens sits in front of the iris and goes from this angle over to this side and so uh, that's an anterior chamber intraocular lens versus this is a posterior chamber lens so almost always we put in a posterior chamber lens so what happened was is that normally fluid is produced by this gland, the ciliary body behind your iris or, or the, in, the pupil and iris. The fluid then goes in front of the lens behind the iris, goes through your pupil, fills up the front of your eye, and then exits through this little trabecular meshwork into Slim's canal and then into a drainage channel into the, your venous or, or, of the veins. Um, and so what happens in this type of situation where he had what's called pupillary block glaucoma where his pressure was very elevated is that the fluid was coming through and trying to get through the pupil but the lens had blocked the fluid coming through so now the iris is now bulged up against his cornea except where the lens was located and usually when this type of lens is put in where there's an anterior chamber lens there is an opening made in the iris out here to the side so it's like a safety valve so some of the fluid can go through this little hole and get over to the drainage system without making the long trip around either inflammation in this gentleman's eye blocked this little hole or maybe there was not one made I because of the cloudy cornea I did not could not see for sure uh, whether there was an opening anywhere around but what we did yesterday was laser an opening through this iris so now we had a straight flow, flow through and we we bypassed going through the pupil and while I'm watching at the slit lamp of the laser I can see actually slowly the iris fall back to its normal position and he came in today with a pressure of nine and everything back in its normal position still has some inflammation and uh, uh, swelling in his cornea from all this but this looks like it solved his problem so pupillary block is a rare form of glaucoma and um, it is due to the block from the fluid flowing from behind the iris th through the pupil into the anterior chamber commonly many many years ago when surgery was done where this whole lens material was removed and then the vitreous or jelly that fills up the back of the eye would block the pupil and then you would get this pupillary block but with poster chamber lenses being used you almost never have that ever occur there's a, a rare case where it could but basically almost never occurs with the posterior chamber lens so today we saw a patient with a different type of glaucoma called pupillary block glaucoma and it is treated sort of similar to what angle closure is done where we laser an opening out to the side of the iris and that prevents the uh, the block from happening and takes care of the problem so if you have any questions about pupillary block glaucoma or any other question you can contact us through the website we'll be happy to try to answer your questions if not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.